Are you looking to render out the highest quality content for TikTok? Let me show you as fast as possible on how you can accomplish this, as well as one tip to creating the highest quality content for TikTok. All right, so first things first, grab your computer or whatever device you're using, whether it's a Mac or a PC. It doesn't matter as long as it's running Premiere Pro. All right, so step one is for us to create a project and a sequence as fast as possible. All right, so let's go ahead and start a Premiere Pro, hit create new project. Let's go ahead and import our footage using Premiere's new layout here, which allows us to just literally import our footage as well as create a sequence. Let's select our vertical media here. We're gonna go ahead and name our sequence. Boom. And that's it, you're ready to begin editing. And once you're done editing, we can render this out. So if you're ready for that, you can go ahead and actually skip over to step three. Now, if Premiere Pro didn't recognize that your footage was shot in vertical, you're gonna have to create a new sequence from scratch. So you can easily do this by literally hitting Control N on your keyboard or Command N on your Mac. This will bring up a window where we can create a custom sequence for our vertical video. Are right, you gonna to wanna to go ahead and start by selecting digital SLR, then going over to 1080p 30. This is what we'll use to create a preset for TikTok. Now that you have this selected, we're gonna go ahead and go over to the settings tab, and this is where we have to make the changes necessary to do this. So we're gonna go ahead and change the editing mode over to custom. This will allow us to modify everything below this. All right, so time-based change. This is where you actually have to actually know the footage frame rate that you want your project to be in finally, in the final version of your project, obviously. TikTok doesn't really seem to care what frames per second you're uploading your content in. It seems to just showcase whatever frame rate you uploaded your content in. And we're gonna go ahead and select that. All right, so this is actually where you wanna pay close attention. TikTok does say they allow anyone to upload any sort of resolution in regards to videos to TikTok. However, after numerous amounts of testing and uploading content, I found out that the perfect frame size for TikTok is 1080 by 1920. This will give the highest quality resolution for your viewers without TikTok compressing the file too much. In short, this is the best resolution for you to upload your TikToks in. Pixel aspect ratio, let's keep that at 1.0. Field, no field, working color space, Rec. 709. TikTok doesn't allow HDR content yet, so let's keep it in the Rec. 709 color space. All right, once you're done, let's go ahead and save these settings so that way we can easily create multiple sequences in the future for us not to not have to do this ever again. And now that we're done doing that, we can go ahead and begin editing. We can drag and drop our footage. Quick editing tip here, guys. If you do shoot in a higher resolution like I do often, you're going to need to adjust each individual clip in the sequence to fit the frame. And you can easily do this by right-clicking on the footage that's in the sequence and set hit to frame size. This will automatically adjust each clip to fit the frame size. However, if you did shoot landscape, like in this clip here, you're gonna to have to rotate the clip and then adjust the scaling options as necessary. All right, once you're all done, you're ready for step three, which is for us to render all of this out. The key to all this was getting the settings set accordingly to the previous steps, but if you skip to this step and are just ready to render out, no worries, I got you. All right, so you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and mark your in and out points. You can easily do this by clicking on the timeline of where the video begins. We hit I, and then we're gonna go at the end where the video ends and hit O. That tells Premiere, exactly the space that we're gonna render. Now to quickly render out, go ahead and hit Control M on your PC or Command M if you're on Mac to bring up the export window. Let's go ahead and go to the video settings and hit select match source. This will set the render settings of the video based on the source, which in this case is our timeline, is the sequence settings that we set earlier, 1080 by 1920. Obviously our footage was shot in 29.97, but if your footage was in a different frame rate, obviously you can go ahead and change that here if necessary. Next, you need to make sure that the render at maximum bit depth is checked, as well as render at maximum render quality. Now onto bitrate settings, guys. After extensive testing and finding out the perfect bitrate settings, this is what you're gonna wanna use for your TikToks. Now, if you do have the ability to use hardware encoding, you're gonna wanna select that, as well as VBR one pass, which is variable bitrate, and we're just gonna give it one pass at this target bitrate. Now, if you don't have access to hardware encoding, like some older systems might only use software encoding, and that's okay. We can set the target bit rate to 16 and the maximum bit rate to 16. And finally, the audio. This is where you're gonna wanna set the audio to 128 kilobits per second. Anything more than this, honestly, you're just overdoing it. It's not gonna really sound different. It's, the music and audio is just coming out of a little tiny speaker on iPhone or Android phone, so you can't really tell a difference. And now you can either hit render or obviously send it over to Media Encoder. And once it's done rendering, you're ready to upload. You can either send it over to yourself if you have a Mac using AirDrop or in the case if you're using a PC like I am, I'm gonna go ahead and upload it to Google Drive and then download it from Google Drive on my iPhone. 
Now, like I mentioned in the beginning of this video, one common mistake people seem to make when uploading their TikToks using their iPhone or Android phone is this one setting, and I'm gonna go ahead and show you right now. All right, so you're gonna obviously go ahead and open up TikTok, and we're gonna go ahead and upload it, or we add the sound or text after, you're gonna go ahead next, and after you add your description, the last thing you need to do, and this is the key here, guys, hit more options at the bottom, make sure allow high quality uploads is on. This is probably one of the common mistakes a lot of people make, but once you enable it once, it stays enabled, but oftentimes people don't ever enable it, and then you just are always uploading low quality content to TikTok. And that's pretty much it. You can go ahead and hit upload, and then once it's up, you've done it. You've accomplished the task. You now have uploaded the highest quality content using Premiere Pro to TikTok. I really hope this video helped you out on your journey to creating content on TikTok. This channel is all about helping you and inspiring you to create content with whatever means necessary. So if you're interested in learning about technology, gear, or other ways of creating content, make sure you subscribe and hit the bell for notifications. For more tips on creating content using Premiere Pro, you can find more videos here as well as a link below in the description. Thank you guys again for watching and as always, have a great day.